Well, hello there, you gorgeous soul you. This is Infinity, and you are listening to the Evolve Now podcast. Oh, boy. I am so excited, and thank you for joining me, first of all. I like to um, say thanks to the few of you who join me here in this little corner of the universe for my golden nuggets. Um, you could be doing anything with your time and you choose to be here with me in this moment and I greatly appreciate it. And with that said, I have a little announcement. This is going to be a short but sweet episode. Um, I just finished my article about the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. Um, I did touch on this in my last podcast and even probably the podcast before. It's all kind of blending together at this point. Um, (laughs) Where to begin? I got pulled into and guided to the trial um, and I didn't, it, it really surprised me because it's not the kind of thing that I am into celebrity stuff, court stuff, drama stuff, any of that stuff. <laughs> um, I try to stay away from that sort of thing as much as possible, honestly. Uh, but this was different and it became pretty clear pretty soon as to why um, that was the case. And it was because Amber Heard has accused, going back almost over six years ago now, uh, of Johnny Depp, her then husband, of physical violence, domestic abuse, sexual abuse, all sorts of really, really bad things. And a lot has transpired in those six years. But finally, uh, Johnny in 2019 uh, filed his um, paperwork with the court suing her for defamation for specifically this one article that she wrote um, about being the face of domestic and sexual violence. And... And then from that op-ed that she wrote, then that got picked up in The Sun, a publication in the UK, and then they wrote an article with a picture and a headline saying that Johnny Depp was a wife beater, and then he sued them. And that was a couple years ago, and then just recently there was the trial against from him suing, Johnny Depp suing Amber Heard. Um, his ex-wife, for that original op-ed and the whole thing. So you see this whole shit show loops around. (laughs) Um, So this trial was about the truth. And was Johnny Depp an abuser, like she has claimed for so long? And people believed for so long. And he's barely, I I don't think he's... I think he's done some small things, but for the most part, did not work at all. Since then, um, it was pretty much a given that Pirate 6, Pirates of the Caribbean 6, was going to be the next installment um, for him and his character, uh, Jack Sparrow, the extraordinarily successful franchise, movie franchise that he spearheaded and how it turned into just something really massive. Now, I think the last one, last Pirates movie I saw was like the second or the third one, maybe. Um, I literally can count the movies I've watched, the new movies I've watched in the last 10 years, like probably on one hand. Um, It just has not been my thing at all where it once was like a big deal in my life. Anything, entertainment, movies, TV, all that stuff. But as you guys know, I'm quite the woo-woo gal, and I really don't um, get into a whole lot of that. Um, Definitely not as much as I did in my previous lifetime uh, before the whole spiritual thing happened. So anyway, when this... um, trial began I really wasn't planning on watching it 
but I ended up really being guided to it to really watch and pay attention and I was like I, I didn't want to <laughs> to be honest um, when I, I did watch in the very beginning I was not fond of Amber's attorneys um, they're all very um, rude and condescending to all of uh, Johnny's witnesses and even just everything about their their energy was really off-putting um, not to only to me but to a lot of people watching the trial uh, that was definitely something that came up a lot uh, at the time you know during those six weeks um, which already feels like a million years ago. It feels like this has been going on for a really, really long time. Um, it began like a week and a half before Mercury retrograde, and essentially the entire trial was in Mercury retrograde, which is really interesting in its own right. Um, it is for me personally because I was guided to do something like that that was very much something that I would have been into in the past and not only that it brought up things for me from my own personal past having been a victim of narcissistic abuse and domestic violence and also having a father who was a victim of abuse at the hands of my mother so this trial really hit home with me on several levels um, one, because I always felt that Johnny was not an abuser, although I did not watch or, or follow things in the last six years. It kind of came out. I remember seeing that and I remember going, oh my God, how is this even possible? Like I never, ever would have thought that from him. And then quickly I got the guidance to not believe it, but not pay any attention to it either and, and just put it out of my head kind of thing. And that's exactly what I did up until just a couple months ago. Um, so anyway, I don't, if you had asked me three months ago, who, what's the name of Johnny Depp's ex-wife? I would have not known. <laughs> I would have, if you would have offered me $10 million to give you the answer to that, I would not know who she was. Um, I maybe even, if you would have said, do you really, was Johnny Depp ever accused of domestic violence? I would have been like, uh, yeah, I think so. Whatever happened with that? Like, I really have been so, so out of the loop. I do remember when this trial started, hearing about the UK trial and, and um, watching that, you know, take place um, during the whole, that was taking place during COVID too, so that was interesting. Um, and that went to trial in the UK, I think that was in 2020. Um, so anyhow, this was a really interesting experience for me and watching it unfold um, and what came up and out, uh, not only with the witnesses and the psychologists and, and um, police and friends and employers and employees and all sorts of stuff, but the most compelling was Amber's testimony and Johnny's testimony. And it turns out by the jury's, or one of the jury's own jurors, one of them gave a, a an anonymous interview about a week and a half after the trial completed and uh, when Johnny was basically the, the victor across the board in a huge way, um, they said that the juror, the jury, or the juror, sorry, the juror said that uh, basically Amber wasn't believable and what she was claiming was virtually impossible given that she, how she presented after these horrific in, um, experiences and situations that she was claiming that went down with her and Johnny and how he um, repeatedly punched her in the face uh, to the point of her near unconsciousness, but yet 
she doesn't have any proof of that in any shape, way, shape, or form. Um, the fact that she, in this trial, never before, but in this trial it came out, and she told the story of him raping her with a huge liquor bottle and literally not knowing if the bottle was broken and if he was penetrating her with a broken bottle. She testifies she d didn't know at the time what was happening. I mean, personally, and I, I think I say this in my article, if I put a tampon in sideways and it's, a, you know, it's a little dry, it's like, ow, I feel like I'm being cut with clothes. I cannot imagine. Like, anybody, anybody is just going, what? Are you, what? You expect us to believe this? It's so fantastical. It's so impossible. Uh, but even, I would say, even if she didn't go to the doctors, and even if she didn't have any medical records for any of these horrible, horrible situations that she talks about being in, it's her and her energy and her and her demeanor and her behavior and just flat out the fact that it doesn't take somebody like me, a psychic, a telepath, a shaman, um, as somebody so sensitive to energy and lies and deception like I am to be able to suss out that she's lying. I mean, this is why it's such a huge big deal that all the support that Johnny ended up getting during the trial, because it didn't start off that way. Um, for six years, she was the one greatly supported by people. Um, and he was the one that was vilified. But in and during the trial, through her own testimony, and then his own testimony, it became very, very clear how this was a complete farce, a lie. That and not only was she not abused, that she was the abuser and horrifically abusive to him on many, many levels. And so um, it's been very interesting to watch that play out, to watch how somebody like her um, handles and manages this situation basically just gets deeper and deeper into this. She cannot admit that she lied. She's believing her own lies. She's attacking people for um, standing up with Johnny for for being happy about the the situation and the uh, the outcome of the trial. Like so many people are. Um, to see Johnny now enjoying his life past this trial really is a great joy for myself and many other people who watch the trial. And even though um, there's many people who say, like, I was never a Johnny Depp fan, I barely watched any of his movies, like, I could care less one way or another, now I love him, I can't wait to see him succeed, I want to, I want him to, to just keep on winning in life because he went through such hell in his relationship and then during the separation, during the divorce, and after it's just been a very long time like 12 total years of this with her, with the two of them. Um, and contrary to what she said on the stand, I just want Johnny to leave me alone. Um, she is the one who does not stop. Um, the very next day after the trial, her attorney went on and on TV and was blaming the the issue with evidence, mountains of evidence not being able to be admit, admitted to the trial, social media, um, just whatever they could. And the social media thing became a really big deal and is still a really big deal. Now at this point, um, Amber and her team are doxing people. Um, there are uh, YouTubers, one person in particular, his name is That Umbrella Guy. He's been covering the 
Amber and Johnny saga for a long time now. He just became known. I just became, yeah, he just became known to me very recently because I have not been into that at all. He was actually called out by um, Amber's attorney in the trial, that, that umbrella guy. And so, so he's been an anonymous figure in the media and um, that is his right. Not everybody wants to have their face and their, and their identity out there. So he has put out a lot of content and has been able to remain anonymous up until just this last week. And I get into that into the, um, at the end of the, the article as well. And, the, and she's not, her and her people are not only going through, going after him, going after multiple people. And there's this whole article on Reddit about it. And I also um, put in quite a few videos into my article. So <laughs> the article, as a lot of things that I write, is really, really long. The article that I just posted the other day, um, the prequel to this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard uh, um, article is the article about my abuser, um, one of them, uh, the one that I ended up having to get a restraining order on. And so I go into what it's like to um, be with a narcissist, what it's like for, you know, why there's this dynamic with narcissists and empaths, and then, you know, different, uh, what I call caution zones about that came up in that relationship and is also thematic in a lot of relationships that people have with narcissists. Um, and I mentioned a little bit, like I wrote that article literally two years ago, and it's also very long, just so happens to be a 37 minute read. Um, and this article that I just finished also 37 minutes. I could not have tried to plan that. I didn't want either of them to be that long, but as with everything that I do, I just go as guided and a lot comes out. I delete a lot. I add a lot. And the, um, that article, the first one, the, the prequel, the, the one, my abuser, um, It was way longer than I wanted it, than I ever thought it was going to be. And I had several people take a look at it and ask how it could be condensed, <laughs> edited down, and and it was a little bit. But ultimately, most, like, most of all, everything that I wrote was kept. And I was told by these different people that I should leave it like that. And it's going to be helpful for people in the future. Which um, it was, and I know more people than then reached out were helped by it, but my own client and, uh, and another reader on Medium reached out and we were talking about how, like in comments and stuff, how uh, helpful that was and yada yada. So I was guided to finish that article and publish that article and then finish the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard article and then finally publish that. So they are kind of a set, um, but also very independent of each other. So anyhow, um, I just submitted my uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp article to uh, the Illumination publication on Medium uh, at 6.39 p.m. on the 29th. And just so happens that there's um, like 9,600 9, 30, like seven words in the article. So there's like two very distinct 963s associated with this article. Hopefully um, there isn't going to be any issues with publishing it given that um, just what the, I guess, sub subject matter is and me calling out Amber Heard. Uh, but I'm one of many. Um, people that are doing that and the real and really the, my motivation for this is to really back up what happened because there's so much misinformation out there 
um, in the mainstream media for anybody to just like take in a casual glance could think like, oh my God, this woman was done so wrong. You know, if they didn't watch the trial, if they don't know the details, if they haven't been following after the trial, if they haven't been on LawTube and watched um, real time commentary of lawyers watching the trial like I did. Um, and you're just, you know, hearing things casually or watching social media or listening to what she said on Dateline, you can have a very, very skewed perspective about this and understanding about what the truth is, what the lies are, who's the victim, who's the abuser, um, and all of that. And it's important because, you know, any victim of, of abuse should be, um, supported and and I know for a fact that there would Johnny would have never have called her out for her abuse if it wasn't for what she did and in the end she's the big loser here with the with anybody who's truly paying attention knowing that she has lied and that she's actually the abuser and Johnny is actually the victim and all of that. But a lot of people haven't. And aside from that, a lot of people do have this idea that it's just women that get abused. It's just women that get victimized. And I have a very, very personal, real story that, um, about that not being true with my own father, my own experiences with that, and how difficult and painful that was um, my entire life to be a, a, a witness to that and trying so hard to, to do everything I could in so many different ways to, to help him. Um, and I guess in the end, I never could. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, but it still is very important to use my experiences. Obviously, I was I was guided to watch the trial. The truth came out, and if you know me, you know how happy I am to facilitate the truth, to bring the truth to light. Um, how I abhor liars and deceit and anything that is false. Um, and that definitely comes from having the upbringing that I did with my mother being the way that she was as a narcissist and compulsive liar, manipulator and all that. I had big time issues with her growing up my whole life because of this. And I touch on all of these things in, in depth, obviously, if it's a 37 minute read. Um, so I kind of weave in and out the Amber and, and Johnny saga trial relationship in with my own experience and, and all of that to kind of pull it all together. Um, to, to tell a couple, a few stories in one article, actually. So uh, if you have any guidance towards that, to learn more about that in different, you know, from a different perspective, I invite you to uh, take, I guess, keep, a, keep an eye out for my article about this uh, trial and the situation with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Hopefully it'll be published within the next, um, you know, 12 uh, hours is usually their turnaround time. Um, if it doesn't get kicked back to me for, you know, whatever reason, <laughs> hopefully not. It doesn't usually. Sometimes it does when you, um, when I submit a, an article. I can, I can, I tend to kind of go out of bounds from what a lot of people write about. So I'm never sure what's going to um, ev invoke a little bit of pushback. Um, but nevertheless, I am, it will be published. And uh, if you follow me on Medium, at medium.com backslash at infinity, I-N-F-I-N-T-I underscore 963, you will get notified when that and any other of my stories or articles get published. And I very much and greatly appreciate your reading time, your sharing of my articles, your claps and your comments. 
Um, just so you know, any article can have up to 50 claps on the article. It's not just like a like where you just like once. It's a clap, so it's like clap, 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 and you can just hold down that button for 50. That would be great that, um, you know, any kind of boost in the algorithm to help get other people to um, take a look at it would be fantastic. So with that said, next thing on the docket is um, downloading the information for the Lionsgate and what that process is going to be over these next um, few weeks leading up to the Lionsgate. So look out for that. I will be putting that together in the next day or so putting an article on Medium about it, sending out an email, also doing a podcast, letting you guys know that way. Um, but keep your fingers on the pulse of the new stuff coming down very, very soon from yours truly. And with that said, my friend, I'm so glad for you to be here joining me, adding to the collective um, high vibe, positive energy, helping to put and understand and know the truth in the world. <laughs> very important. Uh, I wish you a very beautiful rest of your day. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create and I love you already. Till next time. Bye for now.